Alright guys, what's going on? Alright, so first thing I want to show you is the file I'm going to have you download, which is Control Fan Utility version 1.7. This is going to be an installation tutorial for your PS3 running on custom firmware 4.x or 3.x CEX or DEX based custom firmwares. Basically what this does, it allows you to control the RPM of your fan. So first things first, what I'm going to have you do is you need to plug in a USB, you're going to need a USB of some sort. So I am just going to go here, and I'm going to go to my computer, if I can fucking find it. And locate the pen drive I'm using for this, which is this. It's only a little gigabyte pen drive, that's all you need. First thing you're going to need to do, if you don't already, make a folder called Packages. P-A-C-K-A-G-E-S. Packages, just like that, all lowercase letters. And open it up. Once you open that up, what you're going to need to do is take the uh, control fan utility that you have downloaded from my link below in the more information and double click on that and open it up. If you don't have an extraction program, uh, right click and extract all to your desktop. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So, uh, all right. So, first things first, the control fan version 1.7 PKG. That's what we're looking at right now. We're also going to copy over the sources folder, which has datas, payloads, and all that fun jazz, which you might need, you might not. Uh, so it's nice to copy it all over. This right here, this copying, this is a text document, but hidden as a file. Uh, so if you right-click on it and open it up with Notepad or something, you can read the copyright, but we don't need to go through that. So I'm just going to drag and drop the control fan utility into the packages folder, like so along with the sources folder. I'm going to drag that in there as well and allow that to copy over. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, once you got all that set, let's just double check real quick. We have the packages folder on the USB stick and inside the packages folder is the control fan version 1.7 package and the sources folder. So we can exit that and now it's time to go to the PS3. All right, so once you're on the PS3 and you've plugged your USB device in, I am running Rogario version 4.41, which is the new custom firmware that just released. I have a video on that if you would like to grab that with the download link. Uh, but uh, mainly, uh, what you're going to do is uh, you can go to install package files here. If you're running the rebug firmware, you'll be able to do it here. If you're running this Rogario, you're going to have to use Multiman. Uh, Multiman is basically a multiple uh, use kind of homebrew for the uh, PS3 running on custom firmware. So, to make a long story short, um, I'm going to go ahead and load this up real quick. And uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll over to where you see the install package files. So go to install package files and select the control fan utility. That's the only one I have in there. So tap X. It'll queue it and then hit triangle to install the queue. So once you install the queue, you're going to go ahead and it'll load back up to the XMB like so. There's the XMB right here. It'll load that right up like that and scroll up until you see the install control fan version 1.7 uh, and then you just hit triangle and press X to install now if you're running the rebug firmware all you gotta do is go install packages over here hit X and then find it and then hit X to install it but here you have to kinda do it a little manually so let that install real quick hit circle to complete also if you're running the DEX custom firmware you may have to use the multi-man to install that as well and uh, you will have to load the sources folder manually yourself. Scroll down here and look for the control fan utility and press X to run it. So allow that to boot up and run. And I'll just give a quick little demo on this fan utility. And here's the control fan utility. Now square is to change your fan modes. So we can change it to uh, mode 2. And mode 2 if you go and use up and down you can change your speeds I think here's the fucking overflow <laughs> that like overclocks your fucking fan mode 1 is basically the default and mode 2 is uh, the control fan utility pretty much for manual and uh, that's about it and then just hit triangle to exit there's not much to it but it helps so uh, yeah so that's that there's the control fan utility and all the links 
and uh, information on how to install properly will be below. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps you guys. And uh, feel free to donate to my channel and rate, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think. More homebrew and custom firmwares coming your way soon.